Welcome, little scientists. Thanks for joining me today as we continue to learn and talk about bees. Remember to watch till the end because I have an activity to go along with our story today, which is called B, a peek through picture book written by Britta Tekentrop. Dawn is breaking on a brand new day and in the meadow, poppy sway. A bee appears, striped black and gold. A wonder of nature is about to unfold. In the treetops, birds start to sing. The little bee beats her wings. As she travels here and there, a gentle humming fills the air. Back and forth, to and fro, bee knows exactly where to go. Visiting flowers of every hue, she has a special job to do. Gathering nectar as she goes from every foxglove, every rose. Dusty with pollen, the little bee buzzes, buzzes busily. Bee travels on from bloom to bloom, drawn in by their sweet perfume, harvesting flowers one by one. Her compass is the midday sun. Among the orchards, apple trees, blossoms quiver in the breeze. Carrying pollen from place to place, bee always leaves a tiny trace. Flowers as far as the eye can see. Too many flowers for just one bee. All of a sudden, bee is gone. She has a message to pass on. Back at the hive, bee spreads the news. There's work to be done, no time to lose. Listen for their gentle humming. The word is out, the bees are coming. Buzzing over the dense hedgerows, past the pond where the wild thyme grows. Through the orchard, sweet smelling scent, the bees travel on with calm intent. As lilies glow orange in the sun, the bee must finish what they've begun. Stopping at every flower they find, leaving the gift of pollen behind. The bees pass over a woodland stream, droplets sparkle and pebbles gleam. Water trickles, bubbles and weaves, a weeping willow trails its leaves. As the bees fly on through buds and burrs, a tiny miracle occurs. So many plants and flowers you see were given life by one small bee. Bees are so important to our world. That's why we need to be careful and to help them survive. Let's go do a project together. All right, my little scientists, today we are going to label the parts of a honeybee. And if you haven't already worked with the three-part cards um, for the parts of a bee, be sure to watch that video and to do that. Those are included in this week's activity packet. So which part do you see of a bee that you automatically already know? Yeah, these are easy, the legs, right? And do you remember how many legs insects have? Let's count, just in case you don't remember. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's one, two, three on one side, and one, two, three on the other side. And you can go ahead and write legs, and then color them in. All right, what about this? What's this? Yes, that's the compound eye. And you remember, we talked about that in the other video as well. How about these two, actually four, right? There are two big ones and two smaller ones in the back. Yes, so these are the wings and the big ones are called four wings and the back ones are called hind wings. I'm just gonna write wings here because it gives us a small space. All right, what about this? Remember there are um, three parts to an insect's body. We've got the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. So this is the 
abdomen. All right, and then it doesn't have us label the head or the thorax, but it is pointing to something else that's on the head, and that is the antennae. Okay, now if you're too young to write in these words, uh, the adult at home can write the words for you on the strips of paper and you can match them where they need to go. But if you can write, it's great practice for you to do that. Thank you for joining me today. Remember to like and subscribe to support our channel.